This is my Mabuna Cichlid setup. I'm gonna talk you through how I set it up. <laughs> These are all ocean rock. I just placed them around so they've got quite a bit of holes and caves to sift through and play in. There's just some normal garden rocks. And this is a um, Penplex Cichlid cla uh, Claves. I fished and cycled it using household ammonia. It's 9.5% strength. I actually rang up this, um, where is it? Oh, okay, Charles. It's the chemical company that supplies home base with the ammonia. I rang them up to make sure that there was no other ingredients apart from ammonia and water in there because it was foaming when I shook it up and they confirmed that it is just ammonia and distilled water. I was dosing, it was about 5 mils of ammonia to get it to around 3 parts per million. I've done that, first day I've done it, um, yeah, first day I've done it 4 parts per million and I was getting, I think it went down to about 2 parts per million a day after. I'm using seeded, this filter was seeded already for my main tank. This filter was brand new but I took my um, filter out of my other filter upstairs and put it into that to seed it. But the main tank upstairs is uh, 6.5 pH and obviously these being Mavuna cichlids they're a lot higher pH so the, I wasn't expecting it to cycle straight away. It took me around one week, yeah exactly a week, to fully cycle it. The ammonia was from about the third day was I could put 4 ppm in there and it would be zero the next day but nitrites were off the chart, it was really dark purple it was only about, I think it was about the fifth or sixth day that I managed to get them to zero and nitrates, is it nitrate? One sec. yeah nitrates were also off the chart as well so I've done a 90% water change and then dosed it 4 ppm of ammonia again and managed to get the ammonia and nitrite down to zero in 12 hours and the nitrate was just under 20 parts per million and that's when I added the fish if you're wondering why there's so much algae on the rocks is I purposely dosed it with phosphate because naturally they like to graze on algae in the wild there was loads of little green algae here growing, it was like waving in the water they have ate all that already they're grazing on the slate algae as well I've got four, four of each species, one, yeah. one male to three females. With them being juveniles, it was hard for the supplier to sex them, but he reckons he's sexed them all up. The yellow lamps, I thought they were hybrids at first because they had no black in them, but they're starting to develop the black. Because I'm guessing the male one is the trying to point it out when it comes out. It's getting really dark, yeah it really is. It's got a lot more black, the black's more prominent it's getting black stripes on him as well. So I'm guessing that's the dominant male and these are definitely the females. I'm not too sure about that one because he's getting, she's getting stripes on her as well. I don't know if it's, I'm hoping it's still a female one but yeah. Um, I'll post the scientific names for them up on the description, I can't remember all of them at the moment. They don't seem to be showing too much aggression, as you can see they're quite peaceful.
I used um, Carob C Complete Substrate, I think it's called Sickly Substrate. It's supposed to buffer the water, but our tap water is Thames water and it's pretty hard anyway, so I think the pH is about 8. And these Ocean Rock uh, buffer the pH as well, so I'm not too worried about the pH fluctuating or it being too soft. I bought these two powerful helpers off of Amazon <coughs> Wave Makers just to get the water circulating and any pick up any dead spots. I pointed this one up just to make sure the top gets cleaned and it's fully oxygenated. Two air bubbles, yeah, whatever they're called. <laughs> I've started feeding this New Life Spectrum. It's got 34% protein, which is good. They shouldn't have any more than that for Mabuna cichlids. It's got Sprilunia, however you say it, garlic for the immune system, algae, and this is what's most important. It shouldn't the protein should come from krill meat, herring, actual <coughs> sea, um, sea meat, not fish meal, whereas in this one it's just, I think it just says fish meal. And too much protein can cause Malawi bloat, which can be fatal. Where is it? Yeah. yeah, see, 46% protein is too high for the numbers. I'm going to continue dosing the tank with phosphates to keep the algae going. Oh, and if you're fish recycling, uh, the Buna is tank especially hard water. Always dose a bit of phosphate because the uh, nitrobacter will stall if there's not enough phosphate in the water. So I dose the phosphate as well to help recycle as well as produce the algae and also put in um, Seashem Cichlid Trace just to give them the, also the nutrients that the bacteria need to grow. It was fully cycled in seven days, that's with some seeding material. But it was pretty quick cycle. I was worried it was gonna get ready on time, but it was. I'm hoping they start breeding soon. I'm gonna set up my I don't know if you can see it from here. That little tank there. I'm going to see another media or I might just do another fish cycle on that one to get it ready for whenever they do breed I can just put them into there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It's in a conservatory which can get pretty hot. So I've got the portable air conditioning unit in here just to keep the temperature at 26. It's hard and more. So just if you're setting Buna to tank clubs, make sure you've got loads of hiding spaces for them. Nice rock substrate needs to be soft so they don't hurt their mouths when because they dig it up. And overstock them because it reduces aggression a lot. If you've got any suggestions or questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.